Hey, aviation enthusiasts. Today, let's dive into something fascinating that most people don't think about. How refueling your jet can actually mess with its radio frequency systems. You might be wondering, what's the connection? Well, buckle up because this is pretty cool. Imagine you're flying at 30,000 feet and it's time to refuel. As that fuel starts flowing into your aircraft, something interesting happens. The fuel movement creates what we call a triboelectric effect. Basically, static electricity builds up as the fuel moves through the pipes and into the tanks. It's kind of like when you rub a balloon on your hair, but way more intense. This static buildup isn't just a minor inconvenience. It can create serious electromagnetic interference that affects your radio communications, radar systems, and other sensitive electronic equipment. Think about trying to have a phone conversation while standing next to a running microwave. That's sort of what's happening here, but with much more critical systems. What makes this even more interesting is that different fuels can create different levels of interference. Jet A1 fuel, for example, tends to generate more static than some other types. The weather conditions play a role too. Dry, cold air typically makes the problem worse. That's why modern aircraft have sophisticated static dissipation systems built into their fueling equipment. These systems use special conductive materials and grounding mechanisms to safely channel away that unwanted electrical charge. It's like having a lightning rod for your fuel system. But here's the thing that really blows my mind. This isn't just a modern problem. Back in the early days of aviation, pilots noticed their radio equipment acting up during refueling, but they couldn't figure out why. It took years of research to understand this invisible dance between flowing fuel and radio waves. So next time you see aircraft refueling, remember there's this whole invisible battle happening between static electricity and RF systems. It's just another example of how complex and fascinating modern aviation really is.